So I uh, promised you a video about the battery. Battery drops! I caramba! So I'm just gonna ride over to this small park near me uh, and try to do that before this fucking rain starts. I'll show you how it mounts, how to make sure it's mounted properly, and I'll give you a look at the uh, straps that I use. Again, mostly uh, just aesthetic, but it doesn't hurt to have them as a fail safe. like a good spot right here all right so first things first whenever you leave your house with your bike make sure you have your battery key with you because if something goes wrong and you don't have your battery key you're fucked second whenever I take the battery on and off I like to sit on the seat um, and kind of guide everything from above it just feels easier you get a better sense of whether the battery's in or, or not in correctly uh, and it's just it just makes things a lot easier in terms of holding it and carrying it So what I like to do is kind of get on the bike like I'm gonna ride it Turn it pop it and That's it comes right out and going back in Same thing just Guided push it back there should be zero resistance when you turn this key let me get in closer and show you all right motherfuckers look it spins super easy into place all right into place and out of place there's a little pin right in there right behind the locking mechanism that goes up into the frame and locks it into place so if you feel anything giving you pushback when you turn that key that means the pin is not going into place correctly and it's not going to be locked in so just follow it clockwise locked and then out that's it now seriously unless you get broadsided it's not going anywhere it's nice and sturdy in there all right but now for the straps fucking strap on I know that's what you guys came here for. So I have actually been through a lot of different brands uh, because I'm anal and I needed it to look right and feel like it was quality and tight. I had some that had metal um, buckles. Wasn't a big fan of those. They just didn't get snug enough. I had some thinner ones. Uh, didn't like those. They just didn't look right. These ones feel nice and sturdy. They're called Liku. I got them on right on Amazon. It comes in a multi-pack. These are the two inch wide by 18 inch long, I think. Uh, comes in a multi-pack, different colors. Obviously, I only got it because it's yellow. Um, but I think there were one, two, three, four, five. I think there were eight pieces, yeah. So with your battery off, you want to loop these around the frame bar on the kickstand side with the Velcro side facing out. And then once you've looped them around the bar, just pull them down, snug. You'll snug them up real good later. But you got to get these in place before you put your battery on. That's the best way that it works. Now on the drive side, you want to come up underneath the bar again and bring this down. 
and you can keep it slack because we got to fit the battery in but you'll be able to get these all into place with the battery off very easily because there's a little bit of space between the bar and the seat cushion so now basically what you've got here is a little strap basket that's ready for your battery to go in sit on the bike now this is the tricky part just getting it to fit in but if you leave the straps slack enough it's going to be fine check that twice it's in nice and snug not going anywhere lock it into place and then snug these up I use three because it gives the battery almost full coverage underneath kind of looks like one big strap a lot of people think it's one big strap but it's really not it's three Now look, once your battery's securely in place, there's really no need to take it out. You can charge it with the battery in place, the, the port is right there, the cable still fits, you don't have to take it out to charge it. So if you know your battery's in there good, just leave it in. There's no reason to take it on and off because every time you take it on and off, you leave yourself vulnerable to not putting it in right and then, God forbid, the battery drops, that's gonna suck. I've never had the battery drop on me. Um, I'm just extra cautious because of some of the stories I've seen online about people not putting their batteries in correctly. So I thought this video would help you guys um, ease your fears, uh, show you that it's really simple to get it in right and that it takes a lot of effort to get it dislodged. If it's not in correctly, it'll pop out pretty, pretty easily. I gotta get home before this fucking rain starts. That's all I got for you guys. Thanks for watching.